In this tutorial I'll explain how to select odd or even rows and columns of a data frame in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run line 2 of the code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains seven rows and five columns, which are called V1, V2, V3, V4, and V5. Now, let's assume that we want to extract certain rows from this data frame. And we want to extract only the rows that have an odd number. Then we first need to create a vector object which identifies these odd row numbers. And we can do that as you can see in line 4 of the code. So in this line of code I'm applying the seeklen function and the nrow function to our data frame. And then I'm using the percentage sign operator to select only those rows that can be divided by the value 2. So if you run line 4 of the code, a new vector object is appearing at the top right of RStudio, which is called row odd. And if we print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console, you can see that we have created a dummy indicator. And this dummy indicator is always the value 1 when the row index position is odd and zero in case the row index position is even. So now we can use this vector object to subset our data frame rows. So in the first example, I'm going to show you how to create a subset of our data frame, which contains only the odd rows. And we can do that by subsetting our data frame with square brackets. And within the square brackets, we need to select only those rows where the vector row odd that we have created before is equal to the value 1. And then we are also storing the output of this in a new data frame object which is called data row odd. So if you run line 7 of the code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing which is called data row odd. And if you click on this data frame object a new window is opened which is showing the subset of our data frame and as you can see, we have selected only the odd row numbers 1, 3, 5, and 7. Similar to that, we can also create a data frame subset which contains only even row numbers. And we can do that as you can see in line 9 of the code. And in this line of code, I'm only changing the value in the subsetting process. So in this case, I want to select only those rows where our vector object row odd is equal to zero. And then we are storing the output of this in another data frame object, which is called data row even. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that another data frame object is appearing at the top right, which is called data row even. And if you click on this data frame object, another data frame subset is appearing. And this time we have selected only the even row numbers from our input data frame. So in the first two examples, I have explained how to select odd and even rows from a data frame. However, it's also possible to select odd and even columns from a data frame. And this is what I want to show you in the next steps of this tutorial. So in the first step of this next part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a vector that identifies the odd and even column positions. And again, we can apply the seeklen function for this task. However, this time we are combining the seeklen function with the nCall function. And then we are storing the output of this in another vector object, which is called call odd. So if you run line 11 of the code, you can see that another vector is appearing at the top right, which is called call odd. And we can print this vector object to the RStudio console by running line 12 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector object which contains the value 1 for odd column positions and the value 0 for even column positions. 
And then similar to the first examples of this tutorial, we can use this vector object to extract only certain columns from our data frame. So in this case, I want to select only the odd columns and I'm doing that by specifying the call odd vector to be equal to one. Note that in this case, we are specifying this logical argument after the comma because this time we want to select columns from our data frame. And then I'm storing the output of this in another data frame object, which is called data call odd. So if you run line 14 of the code, you can see at the top right of our studio that another data frame is appearing, which is called data call odd. And we can click on this data frame and then you can see that we have created a column subset of our input data frame. And this time we have selected all the odd columns from our data. Similar to that, we can also use this call odd vector object to select only the even columns from our data frame, as you can see in line 16 of the code. So in this case, I'm specifying the value zero instead of the value one. And then I'm storing the output of this in another data frame object, which is called data call even. So if you run line 16 of the code, another data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data call even. And if we click on this data set, you can see that we have created another data frame, which contains only the even columns of our input data frame. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.